Hello everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I am ridiculously excited. I am doing a collab, my very first collab. I am so flattered. A chip from Moment with Chip reached out to me on Instagram and she asked me if I wanted to do a collab video. I am eternally flattered. She is amazing. She's got a bunch of subscribers. She's gorgeous. She does an amazing job with her videos and they are edited to perfection and she is awesome. So I'm gonna leave a link to her channel in my description box so please when you're done watching this video please go check her out and show her some support so what we're doing is a Q&A a skincare Q&A so we sent each other a list of questions and we're gonna do our skincare routine and answer them so this is a little bit different it took me a moment to get you all situated where you are so I'm not going to film me actually washing my face so right now I am going to wash my face with this from the FabFitFun spring box and then I will be back and my face will be cleansed and we will get into the questions and the skincare routine. So I am back all barefaced and vulnerable. I have my questions here. Chip actually just messaged me saying that she just finished filming her video. Again, her channel name is Moment with Chip. So I have my skincare lined up, my questions ready, and question number one is, what was your motivation to start a YouTube channel? So I touched on this a little bit in my video, uh, how I gained 500 plus subscribers and I actually I had gone through a really really hard time and in that hard time I had gained some weight and I was pretty much just wanting to work on myself in general and I started to catch on that there was a really really supportive community on YouTube uh, of, of women who were and and men I don't really interact with any men but women who are on here cheering each other on talking about girly things and I started in the weight loss group of YouTube and it has just branched off from there so I started YouTube to work on myself really and it has helped so very much the next question is do you have any pets? If so, what kind and names and what are their personalities? I do. I have one pet and she is a guinea pig. You may have caught on that I'm apartment living so I can't have, well, I could have dogs but I just, I don't want to in an apartment. Anyway, so I have a guinea pig. Her name is Carmen and she's very, very cute and she's very, very bossy. She yells at me, like squeaks really loud every time I open the fridge. I'm trying to do stuff with my left hand because I realize I have you guys over here. Whenever I open the fridge, whenever she hears the sound of a bag of vegetables crunching or anything like that. She just screams, like squeaks, squeaks so loud. She's adorable, so she's very bossy. She loves her pets and she's very, very cute. She's a little bit old. She's four. She's just over four and I looked online and guinea pigs only last live four to six years or so. So I I hope to have her around as long as possible and then once I get out of this apartment, I would love to have dogs. So the next question, what would be your perfect relaxation day? What would you do, eat, watch, or read? This is a really good question. I haven't really read these and premeditated my answers yet. So my perfect relaxation day would be I would wake up and I don't want to sound like a goody-goody or anything, but I would go for a light jog. I would, I'm not a heavy-duty exercise person. Well, there have been times in my life, but lately it's just a light jog, and I can jog to the downtown in my city, and there's a Jamba Juice, and I would get a probably a protein smoothie. I don't know. I'm, <laughs> I sound like such a goody-goody. And then I would wander around downtown a little bit, and stop at the bookstore, yeah, just mosey in and out of shops, try not to buy too much. Perfect relaxation day also includes that I have endless amounts of money, so I would buy everything that I wanted <laughs> and perhaps whimsically stop in for a mani-pedi and stop in to get a massage. First, before that, I would go to a, I would go to a spa and just do the works, actually. <laughs> This is fun. I'm really having fun on my fantasy relaxation day. <laughs> if I'm in town, really, if we're going to get really into it, I'm on a beach in Hawaii. Go see a movie and have some sort of cheat meal-like dinner. Oh, this, I could just go on and on. <laughs> 
I live a very goody goody wholesome life and I would probably just go to bed early. So the next one, what is my favorite food or recipe? Well, I am a really, really boring eater. My husband is the cook of his foods. He makes this mushroom gravy that if he put it, he could put it on Cheerios and I would think it was the most amazing thing I've ever eaten. So that is definitely, uh, up there on the list. Oh, and he also loves to grill. He's one of those manly men who loves his grill. He makes this amazing grilled skirt steak. I live in California and our Mexican food is excellent. So if you're, we're going out, that is definitely one of my and his top, top choices to uh, go out and eat. And usually it's really reasonable taquerias. Do I have a celebrity crush? Now I didn't do this on purpose. And I wouldn't really call it a crush per se because I consider myself to be a straight person, but she's right here. And I have just been in love with Lucille Ball ever since I was a child and I could watch. I love Lucy. She's my idol. She's my celebrity idol. But crush? Oh gosh, I haven't had a celebrity crush in many, many years. So. I'm gonna go with that. Even though I don't, I'm not attracted to her in that way, I am very much attracted to her sense of uh, humor. She was obviously a really, really smart businesswoman and really hard worker. And I just, and I think she's just absolutely gorgeous. And I really just admire her in general and I have ever since I can remember watching I Love Lucy as a child. Number six, if you had all the time and money in the world, what would you do? Oh, I fantasize about that one. The first thing I would do aside from making sure I was legally protected from anyone who wanted to get that money is I, so I would get a lawyer and, and start an LLC business. But I would first make sure that my parents were well taken care of and then all of my immediate family, family members were well taken care of and then myself. I would really like to start a nonprofit that has to do with mental health, human services, rehabilitation, things like that. I just really, I really want to help. Yeah, and, and I could actually really go in, I, mean, I keep on hesitating because I really could go into this in a great in a deal. I would also uh, want to maybe open an animal shelter, uh, something along those lines. And then I would probably buy a ridiculously fancy vacation home. Yeah, I have a lot of thoughts about what I would do if I had all the time and money in the world. Um, but a, a, with a lot of it would start with um, establishing several nonprofit organizations geared toward helping uh, others. Where are, where are you from and do you plan to stay or move? Well, I've mentioned that I live in California. Right now I'm living in the Bay Area of California, which is one of the most expensive areas that you can live in. And so if I had all the time and money in the world, I would stay. However, my husband and I have just come to terms with the fact that we cannot afford it here. Well, we can never afford to buy a home, not on the, the salaries, not on the salaries that we make or a comfortable home. We can never afford to buy a comfortable home. Or we, we could, we would just be saving for a really long time and we're both a little bit older and we're ready to have a home. We are considering where in California would be more affordable for us to relocate after this. So that's kind of a bummer to talk about because we've recently come to terms with that fact that we can't afford a home here. If there was one person I could have dinner with, who would it be and what would I want to talk about? So this person would be, this comes to mind right away, it would be Jeffree Star. I have been watching, I bought the liquid lipsticks, I just did that video, I have been watching so much, so many of his videos. He is the perfect combination of brilliance, work ethic, personality, 
I just, I, I find him, I, he's, he's very calculating in what he's built. I, th I think he is a brilliant mind and I would love to try to pick his brain and get his advice just on, on my own goals and, and hear what he has to say about that. I, I just think he is a fascinating individual. If I could start a charity, what would it be for and why? So I already touched on that. So it would be definitely something in, I think the top choice is uh, mental health, rehabilitation of sorts, either for your people in jails or some sort of drug rehabilitation and or all of these things, mental health rehabilitation services. And it would probably be like one big umbrella company that had all these branches, something like that. What that is the one thing that always puts a smile on my face. Oh. Okay, so one thing that always puts a smile on my face, and I did, I've done this my whole life, is putting on an episode of I Love Lucy. I used to get up and tape those videos, videotape on the VHS player. I would get up knowing, at, at like seven years old, I would get up knowing it was going to be on 9 a.m., 9.30 a.m., and I would record, and I would cut out the commercials and everything. So putting on an episode of I Love Lucy and... Uh, knitting or something along those lines always helps put a smile on my face, I would say. If I need to get a smile on my face, I will deliberately seek out a comedy on Netflix, usually a stand-up routine. That usually helps. That's a, that's a good question. What are my future goals? I have a lot of them. I find that if I am without goals, I feel a little bit lost. So I would say my most important future goal right now is to have a family. My husband, I'm in my two week wait right now. So hopefully I did some videos about how I was pregnant and then that pregnancy wasn't going to be successful. So hopefully this time it works out. I am 36 years old. I focused a great deal on my career throughout my 20s and then I met my husband when I was 32 and it's kind of like next thing I know I'm on the other end of childbearing years. Aside from that, I'm, st I'm very career oriented. I will be the one who works. My husband, he's an amazing cook. He's very, very handy and he, uh, he used to be a school teacher so it makes sense for him to be at home with the kids. So I also uh, am interested in going into, I work in higher education administration and I, I made that a face when I said that because I feel like it comes off kind of snobby, but it's, it's, uh, it's college level administration. That's what the term is. And I would like to go into some sort of leadership role at a university. And if this goes anywhere, I could potentially move toward uh, establishing a nonprofit of sorts. But so this is kind of neat. I'm really enjoying doing it. And if it does end up going anywhere, I would like to consider uh, starting a business at some point. What was my best vacation and where would I like to go next? My honeymoon. Yeah, I'm going to go with my honeymoon. My husband and I went to Maui for one week and then Kauai for uh, another week. And then I would really, really like to go to Bali, Indonesia. And then he and I have been talking lately about going to visit where his family's from in Poland and then afterward go to uh, Croatia. They have really beautiful beaches there and it's kind of still not really a very popular destination, but yeah, beautiful beaches in Croatia. How did you and your husband meet? Well, we met, it's a very boring story. We lived in the same neighborhood and there was a corner market and he saw me there and he started talking to me outside of the market and we hung out that night until like 2 a.m. and then we just, you know, ever since that fateful day, it's been not entirely perfectly wonderful, but we ended up getting married. Who would have thought? I never would have thought that after meeting him that night that that was the guy I was gonna marry. It's, I guess that is often the case, right? What is a weird quirk or habit that I have? <laughs> None. I don't have any weird quirks and habits. A weird quirk or habit that I have. Oh, this smells amazing. Oh, I'm sure if my husband were here, he could start telling you them just 
right away. This is kind of hard to think of. I'm sure I have many, but I'm not very aware of them. But I have started to notice as I film YouTube videos, my mannerisms, and I have noticed that I say so anyway a lot, and I often do this weird little laugh at myself, even if something I said wasn't even funny at all. So that's all I can think of. I'm sure I have so many that I'm just not aware of. That's a, I'll, these are really good questions, Chip. Well done. <laughs> Who is my role model in life and why? My mother and father definitely shaped who I am a great deal, and they, whether I like it or not, they're my biggest role models. I would say in my career, though, I have had some wonderful female role models as bosses, and that has been really formative for me. I'm actually going to be having lunch with one of them tomorrow, so I'm going to name her. I am gonna name her. Uh, her name is Georgia. She is fantastic. She was my first boss out of college and she taught me what it was like to be a strong woman who still had a really friendly, bubbly personality but didn't get pushed over in the workplace. I, I really, really credit her for a lot of my ability to be gracefully assertive and forthright in my in my career. Yeah, I would say it would be her. Oh, she'd be so flattered to know this. Okay, so that was the last question. Do not forget to go check out Moment with Chip. That's her channel. Her name is Chip, and she is amazing. Thank you for joining me. I hope that this wasn't terribly boring. It feels like it must have been because well, I'm not my favorite topic, but hopefully this was fun for you to watch. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you later. Bye!